Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> okay, so listen. There was a small error in the last turn as well, but again, didn't affect anything. Didn't change anything no, really. Thanks. But here's what here's what we forgot. Here's what I forgot. Um, when people are trying to evade monsters, there's a there's a number on the monster base, which will modify um, their chance to evade. So that's what happens when you have a rule book of 26 pages. There's a lot of things to keep straight, and we forgot to add that modifier. But all that would have done is it would have made it harder for them to evade, and they already got hit. They already failed their evade test. So, yeah. um, but that's something I got to try to keep in mind the next time they're trying to evade monsters. So Michael thinks he hears a sound coming from the hallway nearby. He calls out, "Huh? There's no way I'm not getting in on the action on this one." He decides to move closer to investigate. So he moves to the door, and sure enough, there's a cultist in the room. So he's going to have to do a horror check. He has a willpower of seven, but these cultists aren't very scary. So he actually gets a little bonus, and it's going to have to get eight or less. He seven. gets a seven, so he succeeds. He's not frightened. He raises his gun to shoot. He's going to attack with a ranged weapon, and right before he pulls the trigger, his opponent screams and charges at him. So he's going to have to test his willpower, and his willpower is seven. Let's go ahead and roll. And he ten. gets a ten. He fails. It startles you and the shot goes wild. No effect. <laughs> no. Michael misses. Too bad, Michael. <laughs> so Glory decides to follow Michael and see what's going on in there. So she's going to take one step forward. Now that she's in the room with the cultist, she also needs to take a horror check. And her willpower is six and she's going to get a bonus of one. So she has to get seven or less. Ten. She gets a ten. Ten's like me today. Yes. So she is going to receive... One horror. So her sanity went from 14 to 13. And I am going to play a trauma card. No. So what it says here, is she's going to be given the forbidden knowledge trauma card. Each time you use a tome card or gain skill points, take one horror. Limit once per turn. So we're going to put that card beside her character. And I'm going to have to try to remember to enforce that. So Gloria, seeing that uh, Michael completely missed the cultist that was standing right in front of him, calls out. Hold still, young man. Sheesh, kids these days and their cults and their PJs. Why don't you find a nice girl and settle down? So Gloria is getting a bit aggressive here, a little bit frustrated with this cultist. She's going to cast her spell. It's a bind monster spell, and she has to test her lore to see if it succeeds. And her lore is six. Okay, I think I'm going to spend a skill point Okay, so you're going to use one. a skill point. Yeah. All right. She's going to boost it up to nine or less now. That's right. So nine or less, this will succeed. Two. Get to two. Okay, so a pass. The air fills with electricity as unseen forces clamp down on the creature. The monster is stunned. Then discard this card and draw a new bind monster spell. So the monster is now stunned. And what that means is that on the monster's turn, uh, I won't, or sorry, when I get to do my monster attack phase, I won't be able to attack with that monster. So the player actually indicated that if the monster was not killed this turn, that Glory would go hide in the box that's right here. It's a little chest. It makes it harder for the monster to, uh, to hurt you when they attack you. But since this monster stunned, Andrew decided that... There's no point. No point hiding in the box. So Glory will just stay there. And uh, that will save her from having to use a move action later on to, to leave the box. So we're rejoining Harvey and Kate now, who are currently in the library. And last turn, Kate indicated that maybe they should continue exploring while the others head towards their, the clue. Harvey says, makes sense to me. But I did find this scrap of paper with some interesting notes on it. Let's see if I can make something of it while we're walking. So he's going to look at that startling evidence that he picked up last turn. So this is his action. He's going to discard this card, the startling evidence. He's going to take two horror. And the keeper must tell him which room the next clue card is in. So, the next clue card is in the basement landing. And on your screen here, you can see it right up here. And so after using his action, Harvey is now going to move north one space, and then left into the secret passage. That ends his turn. All right, Kate, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to take one move over here. Yep. Move over here, and then I'm going to try to explore. explore. Okay, so we're going to explore in the secret passage. And this is a Puzzle. lock box. You find a small wooden crate sealed by a clever combination lock. You must solve lock puzzle number 4A. 
So this is the puzzle that uh, Kate has to solve. It's a little bit different than the other puzzle, the wire puzzle. This is the starting piece here, and it's got different colored glyphs on it. And so Andrea is going to have to, again, rotate these pieces or swap them or replace them uh, so that each piece that's touching another piece has the same matching glyphs that are touching. So this one here is already matched up. It's got red touching red. But these Whereas two this are one, matched up. That's right. This has got a green to a blue. So go ahead. Uh, actually, well, first of all, Kate, how many? Uh, seven. You have seven? So using your intellect of seven, she can make seven moves here to solve this okay. puzzle. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. One. Solved. Two. Three. Solved. Okay. Um, four. Five. Done. Solved. Okay. Well, let's open up this lockbox and see what's inside. All right. Let's see what's hidden in the secret passage. As Kate explores, she finds a dull chance card. It's a tome. And for an action, she can test her intellect plus one. And if she passes, she takes one horror, she discards this card, and gains a shriveling spell card. Cool. So that's very useful. It's a, a, an attack, which Kate doesn't have any kind of attack, so that could be quite useful for her. Also, you find nothing of, find nothing of interest. How exciting. <laughs> okay, now it's the Keeper's turn. All right, so now it's my turn, the Keeper. I'm going to collect my threat. Three. Take my three threat. And now, I am going to summon a worshipper. I'm going to summon a worshipper over by this altar here. I think uh, Kate and Harvey are just having a little bit too easy time here. So I'm going to spend a threat to do that. And then I'm going to spend a threat to move uh, this cultist here two spaces. One, two. I'm going to spend another threat to move this cultist two spaces. One, two. And uh, now it would be my uh, attack step, and this uh, monster can't attack because he's stunned. Uh, and these guys aren't near anyone, so they can't attack. So now it is the event step. So I'm going to put one more token on here. This is three tokens are now sitting on this event card. So at the end of next turn, there'll be four, and that's how many uh, are required to be on here to reveal this card, and we'll see what happens. All right, till next time. Bye.